What's up, Pokey Sluts? My name is another Soviet, and I got a UU battle today for you guys, so please leave a thumbs up if you enjoy this one, and um, I may or may not be smoking cannabinoids at the time I do this. May or may not. But anyways, for leads, I'm definitely looking like... Um, it's definitely looking like Machamp is going to be my best lead here. Because, yeah, it looks like he just does a pretty good number on his team. And I'd like to just get a knockoff here at the start. Um, I don't have to close combat anything out of the gate. And um, if he wants to switch in that chandelier, it'll oko it. And he, he decides to, so... We get a nice Oko right there, fellers. We get a nice Oko off right there. <clears throat> and he's going to bring out the hair across. That's fine with me. I'm debating on ice punching, but the, I do have the Rocky Helmet Intimidate Arcanine, so that's definitely a better switch in here. And um, he's going to end up swords dancing. Um, I kind of expected him to... Uh, close combat or something like that, but he's just going to do that this turn, so the Flare Blitz will kill him, and my Arcanine will live. We do get a crit there, but it definitely did not matter. Um, and now he's going to be bringing out his Guja. This is the defensive Arcanine, like I said, so I do have the Morning Sun. So I'm going to try and get that off and recover some health right now, but I'm just going to end up going down to muddy water there unfortunately but it's not a huge deal I can go into my high dragon now um, and definitely take this thing out but I think I just want to go into my Azelf and set up stealth rocks because that's gonna hurt Honchkrow quite a bit and um, Honchkrow could be pretty scary um, but as long as I keep my champ and my Heliolisk around, I think the Honchkrow isn't a big deal. Um, he's going to switch in his Aggron here, so I'm just going to U-turn out because I don't really want to deal with this thing, and I definitely need to get a close combat off on this thing with the Machamp. And he's going to go for a stealth rock so I get a pretty free and safe close combat off here excuse me and he's just gonna roar me out for some reason so I'm fine with that for sure I'm just gonna maybe psychic um no I think I just want to U-turn out here and just get another close combat off on this thing um this, my Brock Lesnar is primarily um, to deal with Mega Aggron and a lot of other, um, a lot of special uh, attackers and shit. This is the AV Machamp, so it's a pretty good Machamp, I think. And we're just going to close combat nuke, and this should do a lot to this Roserade. And it would will definitely be a two-hit KO. But I don't know if I want to try and stay in. Um, I don't really have any reason to, to stay in. I don't really need to. So I'm just going to bring out my Dalai Lama here, my Azelf. And he's going to synthesis to get back his health. So I think... I think I'm just going to Psychic here and hope he doesn't bring out Honchkrow, but of course that's exactly what he does. It's not a big deal. I can U-turn out here and bring out my Machamp and get a close combat off. But I don't know if I can live a brave bird, so... This was probably a pretty stupid play, and I can definitely see that now, guys. So, definitely um, learn from my mistakes. Machamp is obviously not a switch into a Honchkrow. 
but he's just going to go down to recoil there from the um, Brave Bird and the Life Orb as well. So, all in all, it was an okay trade. My Ubi here has Flamethrower, so I'm not too scared of the Mega Agron now that I have that. And I'm just going to Draco and nuke this thing, and I get a crit on the Roserade there. Ooh, yeah. But, um, yeah, that, I don't know if, I don't think the crit mattered, but maybe it did. This is Choice Specs High Dragon, so, uh, I don't know. I don't think it mattered, to be honest, but I'm not a super authority on this thing or anything. And I'm gonna, I ended up bringing out Dalai Lama there, predicting the EQ, which is exactly what happened. And I'm just gonna get psychic. Get some psychics off. Get psychic, boy. Um, the next one will not kill it, but it'll bring it down to um, decent range. Um, I think I want to go into my Heliolisk and Hyper Voice, but I don't know. Does Dragon resist Hyper Voice? Um, I think I should be T-bolting here, but I'm just gonna see, for some reason, I'm questioning whether or not Dragon resists normal, which I'm pretty sure it does, and I know Steel does, so I'm just gonna Hyper Voice just to kind of test it out, um, this is the Choice Scarf Heliolisk, and as you can see, his main role on my team is to slay the fucking piece of shit known as Suicune. Um, that <laughs> wrecks the whole of the UU ladder. Because you pretty much have to run this or Jolteon to f deal with that friggin' thing. And, yeah, now we're just gonna win here with a nice Draco from Ubi. Get a nice nuke off here to finish it. I hope you guys enjoyed this bat this battle my name is another soviet uh thumbs up if you enjoyed comment down below if you guys have any feedback follow me on twitch at twitch.tv slash another soviet and subscribe to stay up to date with all my latest pokemon videos thank you guys very much peace out